the dimension goes with it. Now, if you're using linear, for example, and I hover over this object, and then hover over this object, it ties it to the vertical object. So if I move that, the dimension should move with it. So it's, it's kind of a crapshoot on which object does it actually tie itself to. But what I try to do is hover over the object that I want to actually dimension. So I think I have better luck getting that. How many of you have used the uh, dimensioning features in Inventor and SolidWorks? You know, when you hover over an object, it automatically does a linear or a radius or a diameter based on the object you selected. Well, AutoCAD added that feature in AutoCAD 2000, I mean 18. So this is in your version of AutoCAD. Um, so here's a listing of all of the different types of dimension types we have. We have linear, which is horizontal and vertical, aligned, which is at an angle, uh, angular, uh, which allows us to dimension the angle. Uh, arc length, we use this a lot in civil. Uh, radius, diameter. Does anyone do ordinate dimensioning for machining? Uh, mainly you're, you're basically uh, dimensioning the X and Y values. And then we have a jog dimension, which is a radius dimension that's oversized. Let's say you're doing a civil map and you have a radius of a thousand feet, most likely the center point's not visible on the draw. So we can create this jog dimension, which is kind of like a fake center point. But with the new dimension button, it adds a lot of these tools together. So I'm going to show you this tool because I don't think your book talks about it, but I'm going to discuss it. Now, to do this, we need to set up a, a dimension style. Um, expand out your annotation panel. What is your default dimension style? What is it? Three places. Three places. Okay. There's a bug in this version of 2020. It does not show a preview when you're using an annotative uh, text. Let me give you an example. If I dimension this object by just hovering over it, you get a preview. But for some reason, if you're using an annotative font, you don't get the preview. That's a bug, and it's been fixed in 2020.1. So it may work perfectly fine when you get back to the office. Uh, but I think it may just be a glitch in the 2020 software that we're using. So I want you to change your font to, um, for your font, your dimension style to standard. So I can show you this uh, tool. And like I said, if you've uh, used, a, used a dimensioning tool in Inventor or SolidWorks, it's very similar. So when I click on dimension, I can hover over an object and it's going to give you a preview of that dimension. So if I just wanted to dimension this vertical object, I can click on it. Now if I want to dimension the distance between this object and this object, I can select the two objects. If I hover over the circle, I automatically get my uh, diameter tool. I don't know if I can get my radial tool or not. Let me turn off midpoint. That may be giving me some headaches. I don't necessarily need those anymore. Yes? When I try to change my dimension style to our standard, it's just not even accepting them. It, it what? It's not letting me change it. Okay, make sure you're not in the middle of a command. The nice thing about this tool is you don't have to remember, do I need linear, do I need uh, aligned, angular, uh, diameter? It kind of knows what you want based on the object type you select. Uh, so it's like an all-in-one tool. 
Now, this is something that's unique to this. Um, if I start my dim tool, let me make sure I didn't undo my object snap. Now, AutoCAD also have, I'm, I'm going to switch over to my annotate panel now. Um, you have this dimensioning uh, panel that you can actually drag out uh, and use. Uh, we have a tool called Continue and Baseline. Continue will allow you to continue from an existing link.